It's time to rewrite who was the fake in last night's debate. Congressman Paul, you've questioned the conservative, fiscal conservative credentials of all these gentlemen, but, but particularly this week, Senator Santorum. You have a new television ad that labels him a fake. Why? Because he's a fake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real, man. I'm real. Congratulations. I'm real. Thank you. That was fake libertarian Ron Paul accusing Rick Santorum of being a fake. Now, we all know Ron Paul's supporters love him. Just love him. And I don't have to tell you, love is blind. It is also deaf, especially when Ron Paul is talking. When Ron Paul talks about legalizing drugs, the beneficiaries of that idea get so high on Ron Paul love that they don't hear anything else he says. When Ron Paul offends most of the people in his Republican debate audiences with his consistent, principled, defiant stance against American war making, anti-war voters like me are thrilled. And when Ron Paul says he wants to cut the size of government more than any other Republican candidate, the anti-tax and anti-government spending crowd loves him. And all of those points are consistent with the libertarian philosophy of governing. But when Ron Paul talks about his unyielding opposition to a woman's right to choose, when Ron Paul says the government should prevent all abortions, the standard Republican Party line, the libertarian lovers of Ron Paul simply do not hear him. They don't seem to notice that fake libertarian Ron Paul takes the most anti-libertarian position on women's reproductive rights. The fake libertarian does not dare say a word that violates the Republican Party line on abortion. Not one word. And last night, fake libertarian Ron Paul did a little noticed full Santorum on sex. Now, what is the libertarian position on sex? Okay. That's something of a trick question because, of course, libertarians have no position on sex, as in government should make no law on sex among consenting adults. All of the libertarians that I know, like Penn Jillette, are, mm, how should I put this? Um, well, let's just say they are extremely sex positive. I mean, anything goes with them. Everything goes. Well. You know, I think I've probably gone as far as I can on a family show in describing libertarians' attitudes towards sex. True libertarians, but fake libertarian Ron Paul? That dude is every bit as anti-sex as the sex-obsessed, sex-hater Rick Santorum. As an OB doctor, I've dealt with birth control pills and uh, contraception for a long time. Now, when he said that, I got ready for another great Ron Paul moment. Here comes Ron. He's going to take these nuts to school about contraception. Finally, you know he's going to cut through all that Republican bull. You know he's going to. And then Ron Paul said this. But uh, sort of along the line of uh, the pills uh, creating the immorality, I don't see it that way. I think the immorality creates the problem of wanting to use the pills. I think the immorality creates the problem of wanting to use the pills. Sex creates the problem of wanting to use the pills. Ron Paul just equated sex with immorality. He just said that wanting to have sexual intercourse without having a baby is immoral. Listen to his words again. Quote, I think the immorality creates the problem of wanting to use the pills. So if you're an anti-war Ron Paul supporter or a legalized drugs Ron Paul supporter and you had sex last night after the debate and used birth control pills, your candidate for president thinks you engaged in immorality. That's his word for what you did. Immorality. It's the morality of society that we have to deal with. The pill is there and, you know, it contributes maybe, but the pills can't be blamed for the immorality of our society. Okay, so Ron Paul is not really a Republican. 
And he's definitely not a libertarian. So why does he pretend to be a libertarian? Because he's a fake. Because he's a fake. Because he's a fake. <laughs>